Hi everyone, welcome back to Beth's Best Hair. Tonight I'm bringing you another wig review from The Wig Company. And they sent me this wig so that I can give all of you my honest review. And if you recall, this is Lustrous from The Wig Company in glazed mocha. And if you didn't get a chance, I will include the link of that video up here so you can check it out. Also, I've got some more paparazzi jewelry from the Corseted Jewel Lady, and I will include all of her links in the description box below. She has some great stuff, does Facebook Lives on Wednesdays and Saturdays at 8 p.m. Central Time. I just bought some new jewelry actually last night, so be sure to check her out, lots of fun stuff. But let's get into the hair. So you guys, I'm excited. I have the new Kylie. She is in the color K123. That was, was listed as Light Fawn. So let's take her out and check it out. She comes all actually rolled up. So I guess she's pretty long, which is fun. So we should be able to do a lot of styles. All right, except that now I'm stuck on my jewelry. I forgot to show you too, they had matching earrings. Cute, huh? Okay, sorry, I'm getting distracted. All right, Kylie, the new Kylie. So they had another version of Kylie and this is the newer version. And she is from their Fashion Club Design Collection. Light Fawn, glazed mocha. So I'm excited to try her, but let's just look at the cap first. A soft front there, open ear tabs, open wefting, stretchy cap, extended nape. And the wig company has those nice Velcro adjusters that I prefer. So as far as her parting goes, my permatease lovers, you're going to love that. There's permatease in there. So once I lift up those fibers though, I don't believe that you'll see it. And once I do some root spraying, I don't believe that you'll see it. I just think it will give us the lift and the volume that we want out of that style. So I'm going to give her a shake and put her on. All right, so I think I've got her looking like she looked in the stock photo from the catalog. So let's put that up here and compare. She feels like she has a nice amount of permatease up here but it doesn't feel like a total carpet. So let's go ahead and spin around and see what we think from all sides. All right, so she's a long girl, huh? She will be, I think, a really fun style to do some different updos with. So that's why I was excited to see her. And her texture feel is not super silky smooth. It's a little bit shiny. There's a little bit of a silicone coating on there, but it's not horrible, like not horribly shiny. So it's kind of got a texture in there, almost like, maybe like you kind of have naturally curly hair that you tried to straighten. So, what do you think? Should we mess her up? 
let's mess her up. So give her a little spritz with water and then get your fingers in there. Start lifting up those fibers and activating the permatease so that you can get the fullness out of the style. Now we'll give her a little spritz with dry shampoo. That's Batiste Beautiful Brunette. And that just helps to tamp down the shine. I use my wide tooth comb to comb her in style now and get the part the way that I like it. That is a medium brown root spray. I spray my bio hair on the sides and on the top part line. And that just helps to conceal that permatease that may show on the top. She is a pretty style, you guys. All right, so what do you guys think? The new Kylie. She's cute, huh? She's got a lot of nice length. She's giving me the rocker vibe and I knew that she would. So that's why I kind of have a little denim military type jacket on and this jewelry. I thought it was really cute to go with the rocker style. She has a lot of nice layering in her and her density is pretty thick on the bottom as you can see but I like that and again it it's kind of a texture like even looks like you have curly hair but you straightened it or you used a curling iron to it basically back in the day when we would get a perm but then we would blow dry it and curl it and try to relax it and we basically use the perm just to give us the big hairband style <laughs> so her permatease is all up on the top here i did spray a little root spray in the part i used the medium brown because this was the light fawn which was a brown color the lightest brown color that they have at or at least for this style i did want some of the i was going to try a rooted color but they were all sold out or or on back order so as far as all of her lengths go i'm going to include that right here right now all right so do you guys want to stay with me and we'll try some styles? She's going to be a fun one. So let's start with a headband. She's a cute style with a headband and a gold headband. I'm working on a half up style using that claw clip. Be sure to clip a weft to hold it in style. Look at how cute she looks in the back. All right, let's start to do some messy buns. And sometimes I like to stack the layer or stack the style. So twisting it up, using claw clips, just doing a complete messy updo. When you twist it up and clip, be sure that you grab a weft with your claw clip so that you're holding everything in place. But how fun is that? A little more pizzazz with that headband. Now I'm going to do my slightly formal side swept do. I love this. I just twist it on the back, use a claw clip, twist a little bit over on the front side, and then let's add a little flower just for a little bit of flair. Summer wedding, she would be a really cute style. All right, my little half twist. I'm just using a bobby pin this time. And then I'm going to pull the whole thing back into one ponytail with a big claw clip. Just right at the base at a low ponytail. And she works great for this. Check out the back, it looks really cute. How fun is that? She 
she has so many styling options you guys I really hope that you like this and just get creative with her she is so fun all right what do you guys think she's got a lot of styling options huh she's fine she really brings me back you guys she brings me back to the valley girl days to <laughs> all those good movies back in the day 16 candles <laughs> yeah she totally brings me back but i love it i feel like anything goes nowadays i don't think there's a set style i'm look at the straight like my daughter has parted down the middle 70s to me that's totally 70s so I really think anything goes short funky shag styles I love them I love them all I love playing with hair I love having the opportunity to play with beautiful hair so I guess that's a silver lining in all of this since I don't really have much for bio hair anymore at least I have the option and we all have the option of getting some beautiful styles and just rocking it and having fun and nobody's looking I promise if they're staring at you it's because they think your hair looks beautiful and nothing else I promise just get that confidence step out there and just own it you can do it I promise you I totally promise you if I can you guys can you know we all we all have hurdles right but this is this is the silver lining in my opinion so I really love this girl again I don't know if you can see the texture it's like it's curly hair or like you had a perm but you tried to straighten it like you'd run home and you'd put conditioner in your hair cream rinse that we used to call it in your hair to try to get all those tight curls out but you still wanted the lift and you still wanted the volume from your perm so to me that's kind of what this looks like and I like that so if you like that style if you like the volume I really think that the new Kylie might be for you and if anything just to do all those fun styles you can do so many different types of updos because she has a lot of fullness in her and a lot of um, hair I guess <laughs> you know she has a nice density it's not super thin so I I love it I mean this is this is basically how my hair looked when I got married <laughs> color wasn't exactly the same but I had the perm I had the big hair perm so thanks again you guys for staying with me you my subscribers I love you guys you are wonderful you're the best out there as far as I can tell I love reading your comments I love hearing from you don't forget that you can email me I will include that right up top so I love to hear from you if you got a wig style if you go and you get Kylie and you put her on snap a picture and said it to me I want to see I want to be your cheerleader I promise I want to be right there in your corner with you so or if you have any questions about the styling or the products I use I do have that shop with me video I'll include that link so you can see all the products that I use today I bought there and I want to thank the wig company again for providing me this beautiful style and all they asked for in return was an honest review and I feel like that's what I've given you and I I love this girl I am going to be wearing her I promise I'm definitely gonna wear her she is just so cute and I love this color it's just it's it's not a highlighted color it's not a rooted color light fawn k123 the lightest brown that they had for an option on this wig so Thanks again so much for watching. And if you haven't already, there's a subscribe button. I need you to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Leave me a comment. Introduce yourself if you're a new subscriber. I want to meet you. I want to talk to you. I want to see you. And I try to get on there and answer the comments as quickly as I can. I am busy, but I try to do it as quickly as I can. So again, you guys, Thanks so much for watching and I want you all to have a great day.
Bye bye.